So last week we finally got our Diamond Mjolnir off of Silver Ridge Peaks, but of course it was another blonde fur type, and really that was the only fur type I didn't want. Because the diamond we got off of Parquet months back was a blonde fur type, and for whatever reason that seems to be the most common one for diamonds to be, so I really wanted to try to get a different one. And we kind of know that Mjolnir True Axe are coming out in around a month, so I thought we'd give it one more shot to work on respawns and see if we could get just some other fur type diamond Mjolnir. Ideally, I mean, other than a rare, I think I'd like it to be gray. They're a little cooler looking than the commons in my opinion, but... Yeah, I mean, Silver Rich has been really good with respawns, like, without a ton of effort. It seems pretty consistent that high-level animals spawn, so I wanted to give it a shot before Mule Deer True Racks come out. And actually, that guy's going alert out there, and if the point is respawns, we definitely want to be taking out as many bucks as we can. And literally, as we're starting, their drink time's already over. Like, I started at 9.30 to make sure that they'd be in their zones, and... I mean, there's late zones till 10.30 still active, but they're done so quickly. And I mean, this map's fine to hunt feed zones. Like, that's what we're going to be mainly doing anyway. But it's so difficult to check these, like, little spots where they kind of all congregate. Because you can only check one or two before their drink time ends. But I actually want to go here because that's a spot I really haven't checked much probably since release day. And maybe if we can get there before they get too far away from their zone, we can see what's down here. And there are actually two bucks still drinking here, but we actually just got a feed zone, so they're literally leaving now, and this guy is the bigger of the two. So we'll get him, and then if we're lucky, maybe this guy will stop, or actually if they're running this way, probably we can get him on the trot. I thought that should hit him. They're probably still going to give us an opportunity, but I actually thought that first shot was pretty good. Okay, I wasn't even sure if we hit him there, because I think he started to run right as we shot, but we ended up getting them both, even though we missed that initial follow-up. So, of course, these are both going to be silvers then, but I do want to try one more lake, maybe, just because we could catch a late zone still. These ones definitely aren't in a late zone. I think this is the herd that we shot the diamond out of, though. So, not looking like any real impressive respawns. But I'm going to try to drop that three, and then I want to go down to the lake south of us. So we'll go back for him. But just in case there's any still hanging out at this little lake, which actually there is, I want to go see if we can get any of them. That's a really big level four pronghorn, 86 to 110. I feel like that's got a shot of being diamond, actually. So where's that mule deer at? He should have been right here in front of us. There he is. I want to get him real quick, because that pronghorn's heading off two feet as well. They're the same as mule deer. They stop drinking at 10 and then go feed, but yeah, we're going to have to go check that out, because I believe that's got a chance to be either gold or diamond, but I definitely want to go see if we can get him. And actually, I got to remember to go and claim that other mule deer we shot long range, and the biggest reason I'm saying that out loud is that hopefully it actually helps me remember, but... Should be the only 57 to 65 kilo pronghorn track over here. And I don't know where they feed, but I know there was a feed zone down by this outpost. And whatever it is that causes zones to go away, like that one's no longer there. But I'm pretty sure there used to be a zone near here. So unfortunately, the wind is not really helping our case here. But if he can kind of continue to go out into the open there, he's already alert. We can probably get him. And that'll do just fine. So it's going to be a matter of probably where the decimal is in his uh, trophy rating. But he's got a very solid chance of making it. And he does make it 98.4. Unfortunately, he's pretty similar to the first diamond we shot. Like, I like these horns, but I wish they were a little more even because he's a bit wonky looking but kind of a weird frontal double lung shot. And I mean, yeah, we'll take a bonus diamond pronghorn doing a mule deer hunt. I haven't shot one in a little while. And I've seen a lot of people posting level four diamond pronghorn, level four diamond mountain goat. That's the first of either one of those I've had, so that's kind of cool. And actually, it seems our mule deer have returned. So since I'm heading over there anyway, 
I don't remember seeing any better than a two. We'll just take that one since it's broadside, and that'll be a bonus respawn. And there's even a better one just feeding right out there, so we're going to have a good bit of hunting pressure here, but definitely good respawns. I still generally try to, like, not get tier 4 pressure, and that would have been fine, like, he's pretty far away. But I do tend to kind of figure it's best to get the respawns instead of save the zone. But in this case, we're going to be good for both. But I'm trying to decide I might actually go up through that mountain and into the fields that way. Because what I always do is run through this little area, and I don't tend to see a ton of mule deer that way. And I feel like I do see them, like, in multiplayer up in that area, so we'll give that a shot and see if there's any up there. But actually, gold level 3, that doesn't happen super often, so we'll take that. And we'll just see if we get any mule deer running this little path. It looks like just the one, but at least we know they feed up in this area. And I'll probably go for that longer shot, because potentially if there's any others that I can't see... They might be far enough away that they don't hear that shot and end up not spooking, so... Especially when it's a pretty easy shot to go for, I think that's usually a good move. Not too bad a hard shot at 240, though. And... That did not sound like it came from over there, but... I guess we have at least one tiny pronghorn in the area. That's a little unfortunate, because I came here thinking, this is one of the spots that I shoot the most mule deer. Just kind of, even when I'm not actually hunting them, and I thought maybe there was a good chance for respawns, and that wasn't exactly very big. Actually, there's an equally sad one out there that we'll probably get, but it's this lake over here, which I mainly go to for mountain goat, but consistently I come here and there's no mountain goat that are any kind of decent, so I end up shooting the old deer. Wow. <laughs> it's just really sad. I mean, I think we can actually get all three, so we'll do that. And at the very least, we can hope for better respawns. But I think that's going to get him. He's dropping pretty quickly, so not special, but maybe hope for next time. But actually, I shoot a lot of mule deer up at this spot in multiplayer as well. Because for some reason, very consistently, there's like a big rack four down here in multiplayer. It's not like every server or anything, but I've shot a lot of them that are like the basically small diamond rack just at this particular lake so maybe if there's anything to it we could see better respawns out of these guys but I think that would have been the second one we shot and the third one's there so hmm there's a max weight mountain goat track is that him it is and he's actually really solid he's very similar to that pronghorn that he like it probably could be diamond but I think he's actually just too small, but if he'll give us a shot, we'll definitely go for it. And he's going nervous, so he should slow down. And they always do that turning thing, but did we delete any zones by shooting that many animals? They were kind of spread out, so we're okay. But that's definitely a solid goat. And I guess that kind of made it worth actually coming down here, because... The mule deer, other than future respawns, really were not worth it. But yeah, he's a gold at 1.3 below diamond, so definitely close. But he was a common fur type, and we do have a common diamond mountain goat, so not too worried about that. If he would have been light brown or white, I would have definitely been a little sad that he didn't quite make it, but that's not really a big deal. I think I want to maybe check one more spot. And I think that's going to be up here in the north, because there are a lot of mule deer up here. And I end up shooting them fairly often, so there could be something good waiting for a response. And there is actually a herd with a couple of bucks, but that three is the best one. They actually feed on the opposite side of the lake pretty often as well. So there may be more for us to get, so I'm not going to try to take extra shots at the fleeing ones right now. I probably should have brought the M1, but I just sort of had the 7mm on my loadout and didn't even consider the fact that I would need follow-ups for this. And really, so far we've been fine. Like, so much so that I kind of didn't even think about the fact that I didn't have the normal weapon I use for respawn hunts. But there are elk over there. There's another mule deer, though. So at the very least, we're going to get that three. But I want to check and make sure there's nothing 
better hanging out somewhere first? I don't think there is, so we'll get him. And that's probably going to end up being our last kill. That's actually a little bit low. So we'll probably need to follow up on that. We got intestines. That should finish him off pretty good, though. So yeah, we do get to run back to the trophy lodge to throw our pronghorn in there. So definitely nice to get a bonus diamond while working on respawns, but it wasn't too bad. We actually shot like a good number of mule deer for hopeful eventual respawns. I don't know how I can miss any vitals at all standing still and then shoot him in the heart shotting away. But I think that's a pretty good way to end. So we're going to hop to the trophy lodge quick and find a spot for our new pronghorn. He actually looks a lot better to me on the wall than he did in the harvest screen. So that's actually kind of nice. But this is the room that I've had like a lot of the mountain lions and stuff in. And I've said it over and over. I don't like the look of the predators on wall plaques. So I thought we'd take down a mountain lion and put our new pronghorn in here. Because he's probably going to stay. Whereas the mountain lions eventually are going to get put in probably a different trophy lodge. But yeah. That wasn't a bad mule deer hunt. Definitely helps to get a diamond pronghorn on the way, and hopefully that's good progress towards a diamond mule deer in the future, and hopefully one that's not a blonde fur type. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.